Hello, investors, and welcome to another 180 Markets Weekly Wrap on the short holiday weekend. And firstly, everybody, we want to say, take a break. We know it's been a stressful year so far, but certainly we should take our spots and enjoy what surely will turn around and be better going forward. Now, on to this week itself. One big theme we're starting to see is what we would call breath. That's right. Not breathe but breath. And specifically, what we're noticing is a big, big money supply coming into the top names, the big capitalization names, while at the other end of the spectrum, smaller companies are still struggling on the share market. And to put that in perspective, the major indices this month were up about 2%, while the smaller capitalization index, I believe in some parts of the world, was down as much as 15%. So this is a huge difference and a huge gap and something that we are really watching here at 180 Markets because it's going to affect the structural dynamics of the market going forward, probably through the rest of the year. And what it will happen is most likely there will be a convergence, meaning either the big cap companies will finally come down or the small cap companies will finally come up. And what are we doing? We are noticing more capital markets activities albeit not necessarily at the prices that the companies necessarily want, but at the same time, it does show this activity going forward. And now to talk more about what, on, what went on this week on the markets themselves, I'll turn it over to Sean. And again, have a great holiday weekend. Thanks, Greg. And welcome to the Thursday Weekly Wrap. We've got a long weekend coming up, which everyone should be looking forward to. A bit of a better week on the market. We saw a rally in the gold price that put a light under a lot of gold stocks here. And that gave a lot of confidence to some smaller stocks. Although it hasn't been a broad rally, but still it's good to see some movements, which has been better than some past weeks. Placements, there were quite a few. We actually started off Monday and Tuesday, there were about 18 capital raises, which is nuts. Everyone's just taking advantage of a stronger market and raising capital. Let's look at one that we did here at 180 Market, SHG Singular Health. So we actually raised money there five and a half cents. Well done 180 Markets. Um, and investors got a free option with that. Let's look at the chart of Singular. So it's, um, it's had a tough year like most stocks, but it does look really good today it's up 30 percent um so well done to anyone that took that raise now very popular raise here at 180 was sga sari togan graphite graphite stocks are still in favor so Nyadi and rm corporate raised three million dollars there at 33 cents a share MEI, so they raised about $25 million at 12 and a half cents a share. Uh, not crazy, trading too well. Um, quite a bit below, but if we look at the chart, it did have a big run up before the capital raise. That's a Tolga Comova stock. So anytime Tolga is involved in the stock, it usually is very easy to raise money for. Now, a very interesting raise was C7A. So when you look at it, it does look unraisable, but they are doing an 100 for one consolidation. Let's look at the chart there. So it has not moved since May. And um, that's um, well done to, I think, Fosters who raised money there. Adelaide Equities. Adelaide Equities, true, as, as well. well yep. As well. Um, so together they raised um, a 0.6 which is a discount there, but the 100 for one consolidation is coming up. Now, IVZ, um, they raised money at 12 cents with a one for two option. So that raise was pretty hot here at 180 Markets. Thank you for the, the boys at um, Evolution for the nice allocation and good luck with that. Hopefully the shares go up from here. Um, Two stocks this week that were really interesting. So CYP trading down and ROO. Um, both of them had to reprice the placement during the trading halts. Reprice or resize. Correct. Um, so CYP 
resized it downwards. Um, so they ended up raising, I think, $5 million. Yep. And um, yeah, which was, in the end, was a good result. And ROO had to change the option amount in there. So yeah, it just shows it's not that easy to raise capital. But when you're raising capital for a good stock, a quality stock, like we did this week, I hope, at Ignite Equity. Um, so let's take a look at our raise. So we co-led a raise with, with Petra, who are very kind enough to include us there, so Avenira. Um, we helped raise $5 million or 1.1 over two tranche placement. So that's a two year chart. The stock does move up and down a lot, but it's been in, it's been in search of some quality brokers and hopefully they have found them. Um, yeah, so that will be an interesting one to watch. All right, movers this week, there were quite a few. As we said, the gold price went nuts, went over $2,000 US. So let's look at some gold stocks here. Let's look at RED. This is probably the most popular one for traders. They recently did a placement at 13 cents. Um, so if I bring up the one year chart, it has had a nice move after their placement, trading at 18 cents. Now, some other gold stocks that did well, I mean, you can just look through all of them, but IVR, they came up nicely. Let's look at the chart over there. Big run up this week. They probably were up 40% at one stage, pulled back a little bit now. SVL, another one, uh, let's take a look there, Camera Girl, um, down today, but take a look at the chart. Very, very big runs. All right, other stocks, um, so WMG. Now, they are a nickel company and they made a pretty good announcement this morning. Uh, their tests were confirmed nickel sulfide, so they're up 33%. Take a look at the chart over there. Wow, wow, we wow. So that's um, a pretty big movement there. Um, BEZ continued the upwards movements. Um, it's really every week now we mention BEZ. Um, no new announcements, but yeah, a few weeks ago they announced their funding facility. So people are enjoying that ride. W. MG we've mentioned, um, but we haven't mentioned 40 yet. So let's look there. Um, up 8% today. They've had a massive run up. They're up pretty much almost double, almost. Um, may get there soon uh, in just a week or two. They did announce that they'd signed a hospital SAAS contract. And um, yeah, good luck to shareholders there. Downs. So we won't go into too many downs. Lithium stocks did not continue the run from last week. So some of the bigger ones like POS, let's look there. Um, yeah, it's down quite a bit. And um, LKE, PNN, these are all the lithium um, stocks that went up quite a bit last week, but they've struggled this week. We'll finish off with NOX. This is a biotech company, so they are down 41%. We often mention the dangers of investing in biotech, and this is why. Pretty often we see stocks move up and down at least by this amount. So there's a lot of dangers in investing in that space. All right, everyone, have a great long weekend. Let's hope we have some continuous improvements next week and um, go the baggers. Thanks for watching another 180 Markets Weekly Wrap. If you want access to thousands of capital raises, Sign up at 180markets.com.au and you'll get access to our very next capital raise. Thanks for watching.